Okay guys, so today I want to record the tutorial of the stove with a bottom drawer. It's not gonna have the batteries, but I figured maybe a stove with a bottom drawer would be helpful <laughs> and nice to have. So that's what you're gonna have in the kit. You're gonna have two side pieces with those like holes and you're gonna have some four railings that's gonna be glued like that. You're gonna have the bottom piece, the base that goes under the bottom piece. You're gonna have the top with the engraving for the grates. You're gonna have this piece of wood. That's gonna be the shelf for the, like, di dividing the drawer and the rest of the stove. You're gonna have that. It's like a set to assemble the drawer. You're gonna have the back panel. You're gonna have two um, handles. Handles. <laughs> You're gonna have a bunch of um, oven grates, those things, and uh, the set to make the burners. The, the not the burners, the knobs. Sorry. And depending on what stove you choose, you're gonna have either this grate or this grate, and you're gonna have the base for one of those grates. And again, depending on what stove you choose, you're gonna have either the modern looking front panel or the classic looking front panel. Um, and also those pieces for each of the panels that's gonna be covering the drawers. I'm gonna be assembling the uh, modern stove. So I'm going to need this thing. So what I start with, I glue the base to the grate and I glue the railings to the sides. So we'll see, you're gonna have two of the racks in the kit. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Anyways, after you are done gluing those railings, you're gonna have this piece that's like a thin wooden piece and you're gonna glue it in those holes when you glue it make sure there is a tiny gap between uh, this shelf and this piece of wood that means you attached it correctly so we basically glue those pieces together and after that's that that's pretty much just a single rectangle so you're gonna glue the back side the top the bottom and the base. Um, at this point, if you want to paint it, I would suggest you paint the inside uh, black or whichever color you choose. I prefer spray paint. So while the bottom of the stove dries, I'm gonna assemble the drawer. Basically, it's like all the drawers. Drawers, sorry. <laughs> Been sick a while. In all my tutorials, you connect, so I'm not gluing anything <laughs> yet, so it falls apart. But basically you connect those four pieces and create sort of a frame and glue it together. And after you glued that, you are gonna glue this panel on top like that. So while everything dries, you can start assembling the knobs, depending on what, what stove you get the the modern version or the classic version you're gonna have different set of um oh my god <laughs> uh, knobs so for the modern version you're gonna have the larger circles and the larger like those things if you can see that so you're gonna glue this top thing to approximately the middle of this circle thing and you're gonna get a knob for the classic stove those things and the circles are gonna be smaller but the concept is the same you're gonna also glue them together like that the only difference is for the classic stove you're gonna have eight knobs and for the modern stove, you're gonna have six knobs.
So yeah, I'm not gonna be assembling everything, but basically that's the concept for the modern stove knobs. That's the concept for the classic stove knobs. Um, you're gonna have six or eight of those. Um, so after everything is dry, you can start gluing on the burners. Also, I mean, it's obviously easier to uh, paint this thing first and paint the burners and then glue them together. I use rust -Oleum spray paint for this and for this um, black spray paint. For this one, I use silver something. Um, I'm not painting anything yet because I'm going to color it. But basically, you have the engraving for the burners. So you can glue them like that. So after you glue the burners, what again I'm not doing you can glue the grate I think it's called the grate um, I usually spray paint them before gluing as well because it's easier but whatever works for you but yeah basically the idea is that you are gluing this thing on top of the burners okay guys what I totally forgot to mention is that you're gonna have this tiny piece as well that is made for doubling up um, the bottom piece which is going to be the front of the drawer so I went ahead and glued the burners in the grate I don't know why <laughs> but anyways after all that is done you are going to take this drawer and carefully slide it in here trying to make sure it's like relatively in the middle and after that, you're gonna carefully glue this panel like so that it's right in the borders, you know? Um, so that it's like in this rectangular area, like, like that. And after you did that, you're gonna take this front panel and carefully glue it like that. So after everything is glued together, you can glue the handles. So that's basically it. You have the drawer in the bottom. Not a very large one, but you can still squeeze something in there. <laughs> and you have the door and you can insert the racks. Ta-da! There you go.